And welcome back to Everyday Iowa. It's extra sweet and spooky. Mm -hmm. In the Studio B today, we have Kristen Erickson, owner of Kristen's Sweet Creations. Hello. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. So we saw your, uh, you're having a cookie class because yes. the Hiawatha Trunk yes. or Treat, they, they came and so we're like, we have to get Kristen <laughs> yes. on yeah. the yes. show yes. Mm -hmm. to talk about her cookie making in the class. So I'm tell us how it all began. Um, so I've loved baking ever since I was little. Uh, I got that from my mom and my grandma. Um, so in 2020, uh, I went back to being gluten free and I was having a hard time finding stuff that really tasted good and mm -hmm. it was so expensive to just trial and error. So I was like, you know what, I can bake. I'm going to figure <laughs> this out. And so then that's how my business started. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it takes a lot of hard work, creativity, and dedication yeah. to do that. And you've sprouted it into <laughs> these amazing <laughs> cookies that are takes a lot of artwork yeah. and just a little knack to do it. Yeah. But so tell us a little bit about the spooky cookies, kind of how you get the inspiration for the design and so on. Okay, so for my cookie classes, I'm in collaboration with other bakers mm -hmm. um, around the country, and we uh, there's one person, individual, who kind of comes up with the designs and the colors and then shares it with us, they create the PowerPoint. So it makes it easier on other bakers that we can focus on other parts of our business and still be able to teach classes like that because there's a lot of time that goes into that that I wouldn't be able to focus on other things. Absolutely. Yeah. So. And you brought a kitty cat and a finger for us yes. to make yes. today. Yes. I love it. Yes. And this is what is going to be happening uh, Saturday? No, it's Wednesday, October Wednesday. 30th. The yeah. 30th, the day okay. before Halloween. The day before yes. Halloween. That's right. Yes. So perfect just in time for Halloween. Perfect. So yes. That'll be awesome. They yeah. can give them out as, instead of candy, you can give yeah. out spooky cookies. Cookies. Yes. cookies. There yeah. we go. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's so, start. You want to start? Yes. Okay. So yeah. first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our black icing. Okay. And I've already cut the tips off for you. So one way you're going to want to hold it is there's a seam mm -hmm. on the bag. Right there. Yep. You want to keep the seam up the top. Okay. And then we're just going to make basically outline the cat's face. Now tell us while you're doing this, when it comes to anyone of any age can take your class, can sign up and just play, have fun. Yes. Yeah. Um, we typically recommend uh, eight years old and up for themselves. <laughs> okay. I'm so bad. No, <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. So then all we do after that is after the outline is you just put more pressure okay. as you squeeze okay. and then just keep following the same process. Do you ever so have one of these explode? Far, yes, I always have extra bags of icing, or just empty bags, Yes. at class for those individuals. I love it. That squeeze too tight, yep, so we're filling it in. So we wanna get that. And you do a whole lot more than just this class coming up for Halloween. What yes. else? What else do you do over the year, throughout the year holidays? So I do the Cedar Rapids Farmers okay. Market. No, you're good. You're totally good. Mine that's how is everybody. So bad. That's how everybody starts out. I think out. it looks beautiful. It's, it's, it's great. It's like a spider web it's great. on a face. I think it's amazing. <laughs> so once you get it kind of mainly mm -hmm. filled in, we'll take what we call the scribe, Ooh. which is the sharp thing here, and uh -huh. then you'll just kind of stick it in and kind of get the icing to come together. What sort of feedback do you get from a lot of people that participate in your classes? Everyone has loved it. I've had a couple of people take multiple classes and then one of them even mm -hmm. has got, come to, I believe, two classes and then they had me come and teach their staff Ooh, for so a day do, for like a team building activity. Cool. You do that, people yeah. can I love uh, it. hire you. Yes. Do you need to keep the icing at a specific temperature for it to work this well? Or? So uh, yeah, you keep it at room temperature okay. and then to save it, you keep it um, if you want it to last longer, you can stick it in the fridge. To, that prevents. So mm -hmm. what we have here is royal icing. So it's kind of like a meringue, egg white powder. So meringue, meringue powder and then powdered sugar and water. And Gorgeous. then um, as it sits, it starts to separate. So I love you, it. You are I'm doing great. No, it's you're amazing. Good. You're doing great. Thank so you, Kristen. Now, <laughs> so now what we'll do is we're going to um, clean off the scribe. Okay. And we're going to take those two eyes eyes, those are the cat eyes, and you're just going to drop them right where eyes where would go eyes on the cat. Be. And Kristen, yep. tell us a little bit about 
the specialty of your ingredients. That is a major part of your business. Yes, so my gluten-free baking I use, looks great, looks great. Thank I you. use um, so a gluten-free gluten flour blend for my like cookies and cakes. Um, and then I use a special bread flour blend um, for things like my cinnamon rolls and other yeasted breads, which takes a lot to get used to with the different ingredients that you have to use. Yeah. Because gluten-free flours take longer to um, I'm, I'm going rogue. I don't want you to. Are, that's all right. There's lots of people that go rogue in my class. Um, so the, those flowers don't soak up liquid as uh, fast. So okay. you have to kind of let it sit and kind of have to add more liquid sometimes. So you kind of have to go by touch and feel and you play look. play by ear, yeah, and you, It's a lot of trial and error, which awesome. can get kind of expensive with the yeah. different ingredients. Just a wee little bit. Yeah. Now tell us, um, how can people contact you? How can people get more information if they want to take one of your classes? So they can go to my website, which is www.kristensweetcreations.com. Um, there's a form there you can fill out. There's a link directly to the classes. Um, do you do custom orders? I do custom orders. I do custom cookies, cakes, cupcakes all kinds of things. A lot of the things that I do now are wedding cakes Ooh, and gorgeous. cupcakes. Yeah. Love it. So, Amazing. Well, that's so much fun. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being here. Yeah, yeah we'll, we got to keep going. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Catherine will continue to do her <laughs> amazing artwork.